comes from Chicago. So as you can see, I'm at my mom's house. That's why it's all a mess back here and everything. So excuse the mess. Um, we were talking about Beltane, simply because tomorrow is Beltane. Beltane has several names. Not only is it spelled differently in several different languages, but it's also called May Day, Valperga, and Kalan Ma. Beltane is usually celebrated on May 1st or when the sun is in 15 degrees Taurus. Many believe that Beltane translates into bright fire or lucky fire. As far as scholars can tell, Beltane is the oldest pagan holiday. Beltane is associated with the element of earth, the sign Taurus, and is usually attributed to the planet Venus, which all makes sense considering that Beltane is the time to celebrate the sexuality of uh, the goddess and the god and it's a very happy and um, flirty, loving, lusty celebration. So other than that short little bit that I just told you, I didn't really want to go too much into the history of Beltane simply because um, Kara did a great job with that and Eric also touched on another aspect of it. Um, and it's really, there's not that much more to, to talk about in terms of the history and what Beltane is. So I figure um, for fun, I'm going to show you guys how to make a drink called mead. Now mead is usually used as a alcoholic drink mostly. It's supposed to give you a very um, lightheaded uh, kind of feeling, I guess. I've never had an alcoholic mead, um, but I'm going to show you how to make a non-alcoholic version. I will also put the recipe in the bar below just so that you're able to see it. I keep the recipe in my book of shadows. Um, it's great. It's not just, you know, you, you don't have to use it just for Beltane. It's a great um, kind of a refreshing drink. It's kind of almost like a like a lemonade iced tea kind of thing. Um, and it's really sweet and really, really good stuff. So I'll show you guys how to make that. To make mead, you're going to need a half a gallon of water, one and a half cups of raw honey, a fourth of a cup of lemon juice, a teaspoon of nutmeg. I use the actual nut rather than the powder, but you can use um, either or. Uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, and of course a pot, and some kind of container to keep your, uh, your meat in when you're done. So what you're first going to do is combine all the ingredients into Once you put all the ingredients into the pot, you're going to heat it up until it is well mixed. You can stir it occasionally. Once your mead has cooked through, if you get a crustiness on the top from the sugar, that's not something you have to worry about, just leave it there. Um, it will add a little bit of flavor to the mead. But once you have it kind of boiling, like little bubbles start, start to pop up at the top of the surface, not necessarily boiling, but um, you can just tell that it's getting there. Go ahead and turn off the heat. Remove the pot from the heat carefully, of course. And you're going to stir it. You're going to stir it occasionally as it cools. Okay. 
once this is cool, you'll go ahead and you'll fill up your jug with it, and you will have your non-alcoholic meat. And here's your final product. So, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today and being little kitchen witches with me in my kitchen. I'm going to enjoy my mead. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Hagen Perspective now has a Facebook page. So go on there. We have a question of the day. We'll post the videos up there once they've been uploaded. Uh, we'll put on um, links to different kinds of pagan and witchy news that you know are good for everyone to know and read. So I hope everyone has a great, happy, uh, fun, blessed Beltane tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next week.